Okay, now that we've ordered our inventory, in essence, by making the purchase order, the next step is to receive the inventory uh, in the QuickBooks point of sale once it's, it's been shipped to us. Uh, but before we do this, we do have to go in and change one other preference. And we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to go to Company. Then we're going to go down here to Purchasing, I'm sorry, to Receiving. And we want to make sure that enter the vendor billing information in the point of sale is checked. And what this will allow us to do is when, when we receive items within the QuickBooks point of sale, it will send a bill over to the QuickBooks Financial. If we choose not to pay the, the bills out of our QuickBooks Financial software, we'll uncheck this box and instead of us sending a bill over, we'll simply send over an item receipt. But for purposes of, purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and, and set it up so that we do pay this bill out of the QuickBooks Financial software. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. We're going to come back to our navigator. We're going to click on Receive from PO. We're going to see the two purchase orders that we created here in our list. We're going to select the first PO. We're going to come up to I want to, and we're going to click on Receive Items. We'll get this one that tells us which items that we want to select to receive. We're going to click on Select All. And click continue. Our item receipt window comes up. We're going to go to I want to and now we're going to enter our billing information. Our invoice number is 789456. We'll select our bill date as today. And because our terms for this vendor has already been populated, it's going to tell us when it's due. And then it, it confirms our terms down here. And if we prefer, or if we happen to receive different terms, we can go ahead and change those terms here as well. We can go ahead and click Save and Close. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come back to I want to. And we're going to enter our freight and discount information. In this case, on our purchase order, we put 2.5% discount, and that's still true. Now we're going to put our freight in. Our freight is $12.50, and we can choose to assign this to our general ledger account of our freight, and or we can take and spread this discount and freight across the cost of each item. We'll go ahead and do that, and you see it's going to zero these out. And instead of our cost being $99, our order cost being $99 each, with the discount and the freight calculated together, it makes our cost of $100.69 even per item. So now we're going to go ahead and click Save. Save and Print. Let me just show you guys a print. Because our cost has changed on some of the items, it may well, QuickBooks Point of Sale is going to suggest that we go ahead and review our prices because the cost has gone up on this. For this demonstration purposes, we're going to click on our review prices later. And let's go ahead and take a look. Just want to print preview our receiving voucher. Let's see how that displays. That's just kind of an example. We'll have to go in and, and play with our print designer, which we do in our, I think, our very last exercise in this series, so that we can get this display a little better. So, in, in a very short time, now we've learned how to, in this exercise, order our inventory and receive our items in the QuickBooks point of sale. In our next exercise, we're going to show you guys probably the most important part of the point of sale system is making a sale.